Hello everybody, James Monty here, and today I'm going to bring you a little G53 gameplay and review. The G53, of course, is a unlockable gun with the Back the Carcon pack. You requires you to get 10 repairs and one repair tool kill with the Engineer class to unlock it. Okay, now a little bit about the gun. The G53, or also known as the H&K Model 53, uses the 5.56 by 45 millimeter NATO round. It has a 30 round magazine capacity, plus one in the chamber, 750 rounds per minute fire rate, and it is available with the full auto, three round burst, or semi-automatic fire. Now the G53 is available with the normal array of optics, primary and secondary attachments that you'll normally find in the engineer class. The one I'm going to focus on today is the flash suppressor because I have found that to be, you know, for me the most useful attachment on it. And that one is unlocked at about 150 kills. You also see me using the halo scope or the holographic, whatever you want to call it. That just seems to be what works best for me. Now this is the point where I shoot at some walls. <laughs> you see full auto there. The gun has a tendency to kick up and to the right. But with some burst action, you can actually get a pretty nice little pattern with it. Hip fire, unfortunately, though, at this distance is pretty crappy. <laughs> but hopefully you won't have to ever hip fire at that type of range. So there you see the nice little patterns it will give you. Now, full auto at long range is pretty useless, so I wanted to demonstrate just kind of how the gun reacts when you do burst out a few rounds at a distance. And here's a little bit longer. As you can see, this, the spread does open up a little bit more at range, but still very manageable. Definitely easy to get a kill at that range if you burst out the rounds. So enough shooting at walls, let's shoot at some people. Now this gun's wheelhouse is definitely going to be in the close quarter combat. As you can see, it drops people pretty quick. It has the standard damage of almost all the SMGs, with the exception of the SCAR-H, being maximum of 25 and minimum of 14.3. So that means it's going to take you as little as 4 bullets or as many as 7, not counting any headshot multipliers. But, enough about all the stats, all the figures, how does the gun feel? Uh, Percy, ever since the Back to Karkin come out, this has been one of my favorite weapons to use. Uh, it's great, it's, it's not the stat leader, it's not at the bottom of the barrel in the engineer class either. It's a nice middle range gun, uh, compared to the other ones in the middle, it just, for me, it worked really well. And with the new patch, I was uh, I was struggling a little bit to begin with, because you know the old you know go-to attachments for it for me would have been the front grip, maybe a suppressor. Um, it just you know it was still pretty good with those on it, but it just was missing something. So I was testing it around the other night and throw this flash suppressor on it. And, wow, first game out putting the flash suppressor on it. I got a 40 kill round in a you know 200 ticket TDM. And thought, oh my gosh. Normally, I don't do review videos just because there's so many of them out there. So many better people than I that can put this type of stuff together. I thought, you know, I got to get this out here. Let people know. Maybe if you're missing this gun, because, again... If you're just looking at stats-wise, it's definitely middle of the pack as far as engineer weapons goes. But for me, it's got to be one of my new favorites. So, now let's talk about a little bit of what I've been doing wrong with this gun. After watching this video back a couple of times, after recording it earlier this morning, uh, I noticed I was relying on the full auto in probably the wrong situations. Um, a distance like that, it's it's a toss-up. Full auto, burst out a couple rounds, still got the guy. Uh, distance here, full auto was, pr again, you know, toss-up. It was a good choice because I did get the kill. Um, the, the distance right there, probably would have been a little better off to burst it, but again, still got the kill. Up close, 
you know, no doubt, lay on that trigger. Um, here, again, it's, it's, it's really one of those situations I probably could have done better if I'd have burst it out. And I don't know how I lived that. Luckily, the guy wasn't a very good shot. <laughs> here is a great example of times when I probably should have tapped out a few rounds instead of trying to go full auto on him. And just had to leave this little part in there there. Got that 10 service star for the engineer class. The, one of my favorites in the game. So the final assessment on this gun is a viable option for the engineer class. Uh, especially for someone who likes the G36C. Uh, since their stats are, are almost identical. A little bit faster reload time on the G36C. Uh, in the right hands, with the right attachments, using the gun properly, it can be a very, very good weapon. And now we're going to get to one of my favorite parts, the bonus fail clips of the day. Um, here, I'm tapping out the rounds like I should be, <laughs> but for some reason I just can't hit this guy. So let's give it another 30 down range to see if we can, we can just... Uh, Get a little higher. Fuck it. <laughs> Normally not a small user, but at that point, I see no other option. <laughs> and uh, we seem to have a, party, a really good firefight going on on this corner of the map. They were pouring in. We were having a hard time advancing, and here come one of those little boogers. Get out of here, son. <laughs> kind of surprised I hit it, but hey, <laughs> it's on video. <laughs> And we'll leave it at this one. Just no comment here. As always, folks, thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, please come check out my channel. Constantly putting out Battlefield 3 content for you. And as always, thanks for watching.